On today's episode of Smart Robots Review, I'm going to walk you through the very first programming lesson with the Kano Build Your Own Computer Kit and see how your child can write their very first JavaScript program in under six minutes. Let's do this. It's going to be great. Welcome to Smart Robots Review. Hey everybody, welcome back to Smart Robots Review, the show that reviews robotics and other fantastic tech from around the world. I'm your host Elias and it's great to have you here as usual. Today is a follow-up to our Kano series of shows. We did an unboxing and a full review of the Kano computer build your own kit that has so much potential including the ability to teach you how to program. Today's episode is about helping you and walking you through the first step, creating your own program. So let's do it. So this is the application Kano is providing that will give us instruction to build interesting programs and learn in the process. So let's look at the very first program here. And let's look at this one, Street Artist. Use code to create stunning street art. Make your own brushes, play with color, simple steps, show you how. Okay, let's try it. So we're gonna click Start. And now launch the Kano code development environment. This is going to be like a text editor, only you're not going to be using text, you're going to be using blocks. You're going to be dragging these blocks to give instruction to the computer to do something. So look at the very first block. It contains the very first instruction. It says, when app starts. Oh, okay, so when the app starts, we're going to do something. Well, let's click the draw area here and drag an instruction. All these instructions are going to be, again, in blocks. The blinking light is there to guide us for the next step. So the next step is to drag this block that says draw background color. And what does that mean? That means when the application starts, imagine your canvas, the canvas you're going to be drawing on. It's going to change the background color to whatever color you want it to be. And it's in the counter code application is suggesting let's pick something dark so I, I selected blue here and look at the left on the right on the right there the canvas screen shows blue so that is going to be on canvas whatever we do here and when we execute the program when we run the program we're going to see the results in that little square box so the next step is we're going to be working with loops oh look at that this is great so what is a loop a loop is a way of repeating an instruction. So we're going to repeat an instruction that's going to be contained in this loop once every, and we're going to change the interval from seconds to frames. I will explain frames per second in just a minute, but let's continue on. What is the next instruction going to be? Well, let's go to draw and drag out fill color. And that is going to be our pen color. That's going to be the color our marker is going to be using. So the background color is going to change to blue. Then for every second, we're going to be executing, we're going to be drawing something. And whatever we're going to draw is going to be in this color we're going to select right now. So as suggested, we're going to pick a lighter color. Let's pick a light yellow color. Okay, next, we're going to randomize where we're going to be placing this marker or pencil to draw. We're gonna make it a random location. So this little block takes care, takes care of it for us and it's going to move the marker or the pencil to a random location on this beautiful canvas. Now watch as the magic happens on the right. Look at the canvas. Little circles are being drawn with the radius of five pixels every time the screen is refreshing. Now what if we made these circles different sizes and that way we make the painting more beautiful more interesting and we're learning something else so here we go we're gonna drag the block that's going to create a random number for the pixel value anywhere from 0 to 10 that was a default but let's change that to 20 as suggested by the application so we exchange it to 20 and watch now we're gonna see circles even larger look at that 
So we're getting circles anywhere from 1 to 20 radius, randomly applied across the screen. But that is getting kind of monotonous, right? So let's make it a little more interesting. Let's use our loop again to make it so that the fill color, the pencil color, is random as well. All right, a couple of things I want to explain. We're going to pause right here. We're going to talk about RGB and frames per second. So let's start with frames per second. And frame rate or frames per second is the amount of consecutive images that can be shown by your TV, by your monitor in one second. A simple example would be a cartoon. This one, for example, every second, 12 consecutive drawings of this cartoon are being shown, creating the illusion of motion. Most movies are shot in 24 frames per second, and your monitor or your TV may be able to show today 60 to 240 frames per second. Okay, let's move on now to RGB. And RGB stands for red, green, and blue, primary colors that when combined, you can create when combined in equal amounts, you can create the color white. Now, if you're combining them in different amounts, you can create from a few hundred to trillions of different colors. The amount of colors that can be displayed vary from the devices you're using. But with regards to our program, what you should know is that our RGB colors will be randomized every second. Okay, now that we know what RGB and frames per second are, let's continue on with adding a random number generator again, this time to one of the values of RGB. We're gonna make that top value, value, <laughs> value 100 as suggested. And now we're getting more colors. And let's keep going. We're gonna do the same thing for the blue and change the top value to 100 as well and look at our canvas it's more interesting isn't it and congratulations because you just created a program that creates circles of random size location and color on this canvas now Kano rewards you for this and keeps track of all this by keeping track of your progress and assigning you different medals and challenges also allows you to save your progress online if you wish all right, we learned so much, we did our first program, but let's do this one more time, a little bit faster, because there's something you might find very interesting. All right, now we're gonna go a little faster, and we're gonna change the tab here from Canvas to JavaScript, because the code we're writing in blocks is actually JavaScript code. So I want you to watch as we drag these blocks onto the development environment. You're also seeing code being added to that editor on the right. We're going to pick our red color and that is going to update the JavaScript on the right. We're going to drag our loop as we did before. Same thing. Isn't that great? You actually, you're building a program using these blocks and you're getting to see the actual code behind the scenes. Now you can take this to the next level and customize and experiment this code, make it your own. So now we're gonna drag the next instruction as we did before. Again, the code on the right gets updated. What if we check on our progress? So let's go check on our progress by clicking on Canvas. See, we're still there. We're still creating that program. But behind the scenes, we have this JavaScript, the actual code that's making things happen. On the bottom right of the screen, you have some buttons you can press to pause the code, restart the code. Okay, so here we also have the button to save our code. You can title it with anything you like. Let's call it first program. How about that? And then you can add a description and you can even share it online. Now it helps if you have the on, if you have an account already set up with Kano. This is a free account you can set up. And then make it so easy for you to share your creations with your friends and the online community. But it's your choice. And there you have it, your very first program created here with the Kano computer kit. How does that feel?
you guys please let me know down below in your comments your feedback i love to hear it and until next time thank you for watching smart robots review